Today's video is on the problems related to the Taylor series. So this topic is from complex power series. So in today's video, we have to expand f of z is equal to z minus 1 by z plus 1 in Taylor series about the point z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1. For solution 1, so for solution 1, we have to consider z is equal to 0. And clearly our f of z value is nothing but this is z minus 1 by this is z plus 1. And now we have to expand this one. So in order to expand this one, so I am writing f of z as z. I am adding 1 and subtracting 1. So here I am adding 1 and subtracting 1 in order to balance. And here already there is minus 1 here by this is z plus 1. Clear? And now f of z is equal to this can be written as f of z can be written as so this value is z plus 1 times of minus 1 into minus 1. This is minus 2 by this value is z plus 1. Now we have to expand this one. So for expanding so I am dividing this one that is z plus 1 by z plus 1 minus 2 times of this is z plus 1. Clearly if I cancel this for one time so f of z is equal to 1 minus 2 times of this is z plus 1. Clear? And now f of z is equal to 1 by 2 times of this is 1 plus z. I am writing 1 plus z and f of z is equal to clearly. So this is 1 by 2 times of this is 1 plus z whole inverse. So f of z value is equal to this is 1 minus 2 times of. If I expand using binomial expansion here this is plus and this is minus. Alternate plus and minus 1 minus z plus z square minus z cube plus z power 4 plus and so on and so on. Now if I multiply with minus 2 this is 1 minus 2 minus of minus plus 2z and this is minus 2z square this is plus 2z cube minus 2z power 4 and so on. See what is this 1 minus 2 is nothing but 1 minus 2 value is nothing but minus 1. So f of z is equal to this is minus 1 times of if I take 2 common from this. So this will be z minus z square plus z cube minus z power 4 plus and so on. Clear? And therefore our f expansion will be f of z is equal to minus 1 times of 2 times of here this value is nothing but sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity. So alternate plus and minus can be written as minus 1 power n minus 1 into z power. So here z power 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So till n. So this is the expansion for z is equal to 0. For the case z is equal to 0, so we have an expansion that f of z is equal to minus 1 into 2 times of sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 power n minus 1 into z power n. And for the second solution, see here, for what is the second solution? For z is equal to 1 case. So what will be for z is equal to 1? So clearly for solution 2, See here, so for solution 2, z is equal to 1 and f of z is nothing but see here, this one is z minus 1 by this is z plus 1. For z is equal to 1, I am taking z minus 1 is equal to some w, say. So z value is equal to, this is 1 plus w, clear? So z value I am taking as 1 plus w. So what is our f of z now? So f of z is nothing but, so f of z is nothing but this is z minus 1 by z plus 1. So in place of z, if I substitute 1 plus w, see what happens here? So in place of z, so what is z minus 1? z minus 1 is clearly w. So this will be w, why? What is z here? z is equal to 1 plus w plus 1. So f of z value is equal to w by this is w plus 2. Clear? And now f of z is equal to see w by if I take 2 common in order to get 1. 
so this will be 1 plus w by 2 so now f of z is equal to so if i write w by 2 and bring this denominator to the numerator so this will be inverse so according to the binomial theorem expansion so this is w by 2 so plus and minus alternate plus and minus so 1 plus x inverse can be written as that is 1 minus w by 2 plus so this is w by 2 whole square minus w by 2 whole cube plus and so on clear and therefore f of z is equal to w by 2 into 1 minus w by 2 plus w square by 4 minus w cube by 2 cube which is equal to 8 plus and so on and now if I send this w by 2 inside so this will be f of z is equal to this is w by 2 if I multiply this will be w square by 4 plus this is w cube by 8 minus w power 4 by 16 plus and so on so for this we can make an expansion as f of z is equal to see i'm making f of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity alternate plus or minus so can be written as minus 1 power n minus 1 w by 2 so this is power 1 2 3 4 and so on till n so this can be written as n so what is this w see here w is nothing but z minus 1 so now i'm substituting z minus 1 in this so if i substitute z minus 1 so this will be f of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 power n n minus 1 this is z minus 1 by 2 power n see here z minus 2 power n minus 1 so this is for the case z is equal to 1 see here for z is equal to 1, we have to make a substitution as z minus 1 is equal to w and z is equal to 1 plus w. We have to transform this in terms of w and we have to take it to the, to the numerator and uh, binomial expansion we have to use and after expanding this is how we have to solve. So this is how uh, f of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 power n minus 1 by into z minus 1 by 2 power n. So this is for case 0. So you can make a screenshot and keeping like this and after that and the next step will be this one and here also for z is equal to 1 so this is the case and we have to make a substitution and this is the final solution thank you so much for watching and there are few more problems most important problems i'm i'm going to upload please have a look at it and pass it on to your friends and practice one thank you so much